Hello, all my Cleveland Browns fans out there. This is Buckeye Vinny coming to you with another Cleveland Browns football segment. Sit back and enjoy this one. This one's going to be a darn good one. This one is going to be about what a year that 2020 was. And no, I don't mean about the virus, to say the least. I'm saying what a year it was, 2020, for the Cleveland Browns. A lot of first for the Cleveland Browns happened in 2020. Let's get this started. First of all, my friends, the Browns, we all know, finished 12 and 6. That's the first time the Browns won double digits since 2007, when we all know we had Romeo Cornell at the helm as the head coach, and I liked Romeo. He did a nice job. 2007 season, they went 10 and 6. Well, 2020, we did better than that. We went 12 and 6. And again, first time we won double digits since 2007. Let's not forget about this. 2020 season marked the first time the Browns made the playoffs since 2002. 2020 marked the first time the Browns won a playoff game since 1994, where Bill Belichick and the Cleveland Browns upset the New England Patriots. I could still go on, my friends. 2020 marked that it's the first time the Browns' head coach was awarded Coach of the Year in a long time. Well deserved, by the way, by Kevin Stefanski. What a leader, what a head coach that the Browns have right now. My friends, it was the first time that we had Baker and a running back, Nick Chubb. Baker passed for nearly 4,000 yards, and yes, I'm including the playoffs, 30 TD passes and only 9 interceptions. We have Nick Chubb. What a season for him. Missed 4 games and still rushed for 1,100 yards. And he missed 4 games. And he scored 12 TDs, my friends, in 2020. You know, to say the least about Nick Chubb, what a running back he has been for the Cleveland Browns. What a bright spot he has been, to say the least. You know, Nick Chubb, his rookie season, rushed for 996 yards, my friends, his rookie year. He missed a 1,000 mark by only four yards. What a phenomenal job he has done for the Cleveland Browns, without a doubt. My friends, it, it, it only gets better. When was the last time that you remember the Browns defeating the Steelers back-to-back -back games. That's right. We all know the Browns beat the Steelers 24-22 to to end up setting up the wild card playoff. And then we all remember that game. The Browns beating the Steelers in the wild card playoff 48-37. to That's right. Back-to-back -back victories. You know, my friends, again, the Browns persevered all season long. The one game we all know that the Browns starting receiving core was out due to the virus. Another game, the Browns offensive line, who Baker Mayfield didn't even know by first name basis, out due to the virus. And we all remember the game against the Steelers. Our mentor, Coach Kevin Stefanski, out and the Browns were still able to win that game with a backup assistant coach. Again, my friends, if you don't call that persevering for the Cleveland Browns in 2020, I don't know what you call it. This is a team that fought and played with all their heart every single time. And, you know, let's be honest. As a Cleveland Browns fan, it did not get off to a good start, okay? First game of the year. We faced our arch-rival, Baltimore Ravens, in Baltimore. We got pummeled 38-6. And I think that left a lot of Browns fans scratching their heads, saying, is this going to be another so-called season where the Browns aren't even going to come close to finishing 500? Well, we all know that the Browns totally persevered. And talk about a team that played as a team 
and gave the definition of what team play was, that was the Cleveland Browns. And I do believe that when you have a team that came together like the Browns, you have to give a lot of credit, to say the least, yes, to the players, but you have to give a lot of credit to the head coach of bringing these players together like Coach Stefanski did. Again, a phenomenal season. My friends, when can you remember the last time the Browns, in games decided, games decided by 10 points or less, were eight wins and only four losses? Again, a phenomenal season for the Cleveland Browns, to say the least. When can you remember a Cleveland Browns offense that averaged 28 points a game? Phenomenal. You know, I, I just mentioned the stats with Baker Mayfield, Nick Chubb. We had many weapons on this team. Kareem Hunt. Let's not forget Jarvis Landry. Austin Hooper, Miles Garrett. My friends, I, I could go on and on. As a Browns fan, I am pleased to say that I am a Cleveland Browns fan. And I truly mean that. Because it's easy to follow a team that just wins and wins and wins every year. Okay, that's easy. But continuously following a team that, let's be honest, when I did my video about the five worst seasons a video ago, where the Browns in 2016 and 2017 finished those two seasons combined, one win and 31 losses, and us Browns fans still stuck by that team, that says a lot about us. No doubt. No doubt. You know, my friends, uh, you know, Buckeye Vinny here, you know, I like to keep everything real. I like to say that I'm fair and balanced, which I believe I am. I've done some major positive videos about the Browns, and just like my other video go, I do videos. That's the truth, okay? And that is why I did this video today, because it is the truth about the Cleveland Browns. We are for real, and we are back, to say the least. We do have one of the best coaches in the NFL, Kevin Stefanski. That's why he was named Coach of the Year. We do have a very young quarterback that is just going to continue to get better. We do have one of the best backs in the league, Nick Chubb. My friends, I'm just going to say this. The future is very bright for the Cleveland Browns, and I mean that. Again, I mentioned a lot of bright spots that happened again for 2020. And I know for some, 2020 was probably not the greatest year for a lot of my viewers out there. And I get it. Due to whatever reason, I get it. But let's just say that throughout the crazy year that 2020 was, that the Cleveland Browns brought a lot of smiles to the Browns fans out there. I know, I know they did me. And for me to be constantly doing videos on the Browns, I love it. I'm hoping to do videos for the next couple years on the Cleveland Browns, to say the least. And I will continue to. But again, my friends, I hope everybody enjoyed this video today about 2020 and what a year it was. If you're new checking out my channel, I ask you to please click on the subscribe button. If you like this video, please cl click on the like button. And like always... I want to hear your comments. Please comment down below so I can get back with you. Like always, peace out. God bless. I'm gone.